Well, it's great to see you all this morning. You made it out, and we made it through, and it's a good thing we abbreviated the service, isn't it? <laughs> First of all, I want to express some words of thanks to folks who helped to make it together come, today come together. Um, to Lynn and Keith Beard for doing the bulletin, and um, to Lynn for setting up for our remembrance and honoring of those new saints. To Karen for, of course, always working to put together meaningful service. And to Karen Snowberg for volunteering to, to uh, reproduce the bulletins. We're grateful to you guys. And uh, also especially grateful to Al Hoff, who kept you all, all of you who had email anyway, kept you all in the loop this week by sending out the family link. Al, thanks so much. That's a real blessing and, and very helpful. We appreciate that. Um, because we have no heat, there will be no evening confirmation class tonight. Um, <laughs> all right, somebody take names. Somebody take names. <laughs> However, we're hoping that by Tuesday the heat will be back on. We will have book study and deacons meeting on that day. This coming Saturday, evangelism is still planning its work party. From uh, Roger, do you remember what time you said we were going to gather? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. So if you have, want to come out and help us do some clean up and fix up around the church, um, come on, meet us here at 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. And that evening, it is Saturday, right? We have a Marty party. November 10th is Martin Luther's birthday. So we're going to have a Marty party. We're going to do a little bit of Martin Luther Jeopardy and just have some fun time together. So that's this coming Saturday at what time did we say? 5.30 and it's a potluck. And, and there will be a birthday cake. 5.30 <laughs> potluck, birthday cake for Prizes. Marty. What's that? Prizes. Prizes. Marianne's helping with this. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm helping with this. You're okay. Got it. Um, we do have fellowship downstairs in Pearson Hall after worship. Uh, Irene, I know that you had an announcement. I can't yeah, see you because it's dark. Oh, you're not supposed to be over there. You're... No, I received a letter or an email from Ron Bruce, who's the head of the uh, Lutheran Church in Pearson Hall, and he wanted to know if you Social services. Um, there was there. The original link came incorrect. It said www.elcs.org. It should have been elca.org for more information, or it's you have directly to the elca. So if you go back to that email, that second link should be elca.org. If you want to do something to help, uh, Pastor Kathleen, can I impose upon you for a brief update on how folks are around our synod? I'd love to do that. Um, as, as most of you know, I serve on the bishop's staff. We've been, those of us who had self-service or phone service have been trying personally to contact all of our 200 congregations or somebody related to those congregations. I know we don't have electricity here at Emmanuel. It's amazing how many of our congregations have electric power and water and are able to serve as warming centers, as charging stations, as places to gather uh, for people just to be together. And now more and more serving as staging areas, receiving um, food and clothing that then will be handed out to the community. We do know a couple of our congregations have been severely devastated. St. Barnabas and Howard Beach, where Pastor Bill Baum is, serves as pastor, um, had over eight feet of water in their basement. Um, extreme loss in the community. Um, if you're on Facebook, uh, Pastor Baum posted a Facebook 
pastoral letter uh, kind of describing the community. He also did a YouTube video that you can see. It's hard to imagine a community that uh, neighbor after neighbor, block after block, nearly everyone lost their cars. Um, everyone has had flooding. So that's the one very serious congregation. Please keep them in your prayers and help as you are able um, and look for that information from Pastor Bound. Also, Trinity Lower East Side serves over 250 meals, maybe more than that, every day. They lost all of their food supplies. Lutheran Social Services is already stepping in to help them. We had um, a, the CEO for Lutheran Disaster Response on a conference call day before yesterday, so Lutheran Disaster Response is stepping in and helping us know how best to respond um, to, to these specific needs. Um, um, St. James and Garretson Beach also had serious flooding. We have not yet heard from St. John by the Sea on Long Beach, but Oceanside, the nearest congregation just on the other side of the water, is fine and in fact is one of those uh, places that has electric and power and heat and people are gathering. So that's what we know now. We hope just after Monday we'll be having another, I'm going to actually try to go into the city on Monday. So you can try, I've had remote um, access and able to, we've been on conference calls, been able to do that this week. But I'm going to try to go into the city on, on Monday and we'll be regrouping in any case and, and probably trying to get an email out to everyone to let you know how our congregations are doing. But praise be, um, um, it could have been worse. God is watching over us and God is with us. Can I, I, can I do my little mini sermon since I didn't get to <laughs> As I said here this morning, I found myself, I know you're sniffing and maybe that's cold, but I was crying. I sat here and at the top of the center window, what shines out is Alpha and Omega. And then the baptismal candle. And as I sat here and watched that, that promise of God's eternal presence with us. And, and that will not fail, no matter the storms that come. So thank you for being my church family. <laughs> and it was worth the, uh, it's a, Gary getting in the car and driving about 40 minutes is an act of faith that we will be able to replace the gas. <laughs> <laughs> so we came from, from, from Carmel today to worship with our church family. I'm glad you were here. <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, other announcements this morning? Richard. Uh, Pastor, the uh, bell ringers are going to be doing the uh, fruit and uh, citrus sale this holiday season. Um, we'll be getting out the information for that in probably this week. So just look forward for that. Okay, great. Thanks, Richard. We'll, we'll be happy to support the ringers. We need fruit, fruit citrus sales for the ringers to help with their fundraising. Um, look for information about that coming, coming through. Terry, did you know something? Sure. I have two announcements. Um, First one is musical. This afternoon at 5 p.m., I will be uh, participating in a Vesper service at Holy Trinity on the Upper West Side. Uh, they do these Vesper services from the end of October through Easter, and each Sunday they, they take the text from that particular day and use the cantata that Bach wrote and do the cantata as part of the worship service, the Vesper service. It's a beautiful service. And um, the, the theme today is uh, God's time is the best time. Mm -hmm. And Bach wrote it in commemoration of one of his relatives that had passed away. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful uh, setting of this uh, text. And then my other announcement, of, uh, excuse me, 5 o'clock, that's at um, Central Park West and 66th Street. And they have heat and electricity. <laughs> Uh, and my other announcement is next Saturday, uh, some of you probably read in our uh, last <coughs> newsletter that the Vasa Order of America, the, uh, which was originally a Swedish uh, organization and has now spread out to be uh, encompass all Scandinavian people, we're offering a, a free lunch this coming Saturday here at Emmanuel at 1 p.m. <coughs> We're not having Scandinavian food for this particular one, it's a lasagna luncheon, but anybody that's interested in Scandinavian culture, uh, family traditions is, is very welcome to come. Just let me know you're coming so I know how much food to Next arrange time. for. Uh, that's 1 p.m. on Saturday. Thank you. Other announcements this morning? Okay, I'd like to invite you to stand to receive the lesson.